Lieutenant General Dr. R. K. Anand is an eminent luminary and distinguished authority with a wealth of experience spanning over four decades in infrastructure development, human resource management, communication systems, data networks, and cybersecurity. Currently serving as the Director General of Manav Rachana International Institute of Research and Studies, he holds a PhD, multiple MPhil degrees, and an MBA. Dr. Anand has made remarkable strides in the realms of operational research and logistics management. May I request you, sir, to please share your thoughts with the House? Well, uh, at the outset, uh, thank you so much, uh, Argus Ed Education, for inviting me. Dr. Parmarth Rajsena, the honorable guest on the dais, the dignitaries on the dais, the invitees for the event today, students and those who are listening to Argus uh, live in and around Odisha and the country. A very hearty welcome to each one of you for this uh, discussion and the event today. Well, uh, my job has become a little simpler by uh, the two previous speakers speaking about NEP 2020 and the ma'am spoke about evolution of technology. Well, I, I uh, would like to first uh, touch upon some facts and figures for this house and then uh, briefly take you down uh, for next two to three decades, how the technology is going to evolve. And, and uh, try and see, uh, or I will in a quick time try and uh, bring together that this evolution of technology which is going to take place in next two to three decades, what is the opportunity and the challenge for India, and how we are plugging this opportunity and challenge by NEP 2020. Well, uh, some figures, most of us keep knowing, keep talking about it. Uh, I just want to touch upon some very important aspects of these figures. First and foremost is, there is a figure known as median age of a country. India is talked about as median age as, as 29 years, China as 39 years, we have Japan around 40 nine years or 50 years and Europe little higher than this. Now for the information of all of us, uh, uh, you know, it's the age of the median age of the nation where bulk of our population resides. So what does it mean? It means that bulk of India is much younger than China, Japan, Europe and rest of the world. So how, how does it impact? It definitely impacts in one area that bulk of India is in the learning stage now. So that means our younger population is the one which is giving us the opportunity to connect or fill up this gap which we are going to talk of. One more important thing which I want to touch upon is, you know, the figure or the term which is generally used is Generation Z, which is commonly being referred as Gen Z these days. If you look at the ratio of Gen Z around the globe, India has the highest ratio of Gen Z today in the world. That means the generation which is actually driving the technology or the evolution across the globe, we have the highest percentage of that with us. Now these are some of the figures which talk of opportunity which India has. Well, another thing which is very commonly talked of is that in the age bracket of 18 to 35, we have roughly about 600 million people in residing in our country. Another very important figure which is going to impact the way, uh, you know, we are going to utilize uh, this human resource in times to come. Well, uh, uh, ma'am spoke about some technology, the evolution which is taking place. I would like to take you down uh, and imagine two to three decades from now, what is going to be the scenario as far as technology is concerned? How 
the technology will drive uh, this world. Now, another important thing which is going to happen is the pace at which the evolution of technology is taking place, what we saw in last about four to five decades, is going to become phenomenal in next two to three decades. It will be so fast that we won't imagine after another decade plus, everything around us will change. And the first and foremost thing is, what is going to change is the connectivity. We carry a cell phone around, this is going to get totally transformed. We are going to wear connectivity, we are not going to carry connectivity. It will be non-evasive connectivity which all of us will carry along. That means you would have some electrons floating around your body which will connect you with the rest of the world. Now, how does it impact the life? Well, it impacts the lives in every and each aspect. She spoke about Meta. If you look at uh, the education sector in times to come, every child will have about four to five to seven avatars, and these avatars will float around in the knowledge domain and pick up knowledge. As far as knowledge gaining is concerned, there are research which are already on. Soon we are going to have a breakthrough in that where you will find that we are going to connect with the human logic and this connectivity to human logic will come through the communication I carry with me. That means knowledge will be straight embedded into my logic. And efforts are on to convert knowledge into wisdom. This is what human brain does, what technology has not been able to do. So, in times to come, in next about decade plus to two decades, we'll have an interface of human brain with the knowledge which is residing in the rest of the world. We'll have an interface which will convert this through AI into wisdom. So what is going to, how is it going to impact the human learning? Well, human learning will get totally transformed. We're going to download things, convert into wisdom, and very short time, you will find that everybody will gain knowledge and try and understand how things are going around. So with this pace, of gaining knowledge, obviously, the way we interact and do things will also get changed. And this will then change the job market, this will then change the socio-economic culture around the globe, this will then change how human beings behave. So what I want to bring out is that technology is going to totally drive this revolution, which is going to be absolutely a uh, 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 dynamic change happening in the socio-economic environment along the globe. And this drive which is going to take place will actually transform how human beings live, interact and grow or evolve.